Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have something new and quite surprising both for me and probably for you as well. So, let's dive in, explore what it is, how it works, and take a look at what's inside. This is how I received it. Inside the package is a small cardboard box containing a sturdy protective bag for carrying it around. Of course, there are two identical user manuals, one in Chinese and the other in English. Inside the black bag, made of a material I can't quite identify but which looks and feels high quality, you'll find a spare fuse, a USB cable, test leads, and the instrument itself. It's a thermal camera and multimeter combined into one device, made and sold by Mustool under the model name MT-15S. And trust me, this will get even more interesting. Let's start with some tests to see how it performs. Beginning with AC voltage. It doesn't switch to AC automatically. You need to press a button to toggle between DC and AC voltage modes. In AC mode, it can measure up to 750 volts, while DC mode supports up to 1000 volts. Here I'm testing my home AC supply, which follows the standard of 230 volts at 50 hertz. The instrument measures it quite precisely. Next, I tested DC low voltage using my voltage reference module. 10 volts, 2.5 volts, 5 volts and 7.5 volts, all measured accurately within the given precision range of 1% plus 3 digits. Now, let's see how it handles millivolts. I sent signals of 20 millivolts, 10 millivolts, 70 millivolts and 80 millivolts. The instrument performs well, showing its capability to measure very low voltages. As you can see on the display, it even goes into the microvolt range with four decimal places. Impressive precision. Measuring current is no problem for this device. It can handle currents from as low as 1 milliampere to as high as 10 amperes effortlessly, with an accuracy of 1% plus 3 digits. Resistance measurement is similarly straightforward. According to the specifications, it maintains the same precision of 1% plus 3 digits across all ranges. However, when measuring very low resistances, it's essential to account for the resistance of the test probes. In this case, the instrument indicates that the test leads have a resistance of 0 0.3 ohms. Let's test some low resistances and include the 0 0.3 ohm probe resistance in the results. A 0 0.1 ohm resistor should display 0 0.4 ohms, and the instrument shows 0 0.39 ohms. Close enough. Next, a 0 0.33 ohm resistor should show 0 0.63 ohms, but the instrument displays 0 0.51 ohms. Finally, a 1 ohm resistor should read 1.3 ohms, but the instrument shows 1.22 ohms. From this, my conclusion is that the instrument is not entirely reliable for measuring resistances below 1 ohm. However, it can still provide a reasonable estimate which might be sufficient for many applications. High resistances are measured quite precisely as well. Starting with 1 megohm, 2 megohms, 3 megohms, 4 megohms, 10 megohms and 11 megohms, all measurements are accurate. Now let's check capacitance testing. In this mode, the instrument uses a 3.6 kHz sine triangle signal. However, despite this feature, it does not measure ESR, equivalent series resistance, or other parameters, meaning that even with accurate capacitance readings, you can't be sure if a capacitor is fully functional. You get just a general clue about its condition. This limitation is typical of most handheld instruments, like the Aneng multimeter, which has long been considered the best buy by many larger YouTubers. This device can also function as a frequency meter, measuring up to 20 MHz with accurate frequency and duty cycle readings. The continuity test works well, and the instrument continuously measures ambient temperature, which is displayed almost all the time. In diode testing mode, the output voltage is 3.9 volts, which means it can test all standard 5 mm LEDs. Not bad at all. The best feature of this instrument is saved for the final part of this video, the thermal imaging mode. The thermal camera on this device has a resolution of 256 by 192 pixels and an impressive frame rate of 25 frames per second. This ensures that everything, whether moving or stationary, appears incredibly smooth, as demonstrated in the video. 
The images are displayed on an LCD screen with a resolution of 427 by 320. Although it's not a true video camera and cannot record videos, you can capture screenshots of your measurements by pressing and holding the hold button. The instrument comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card pre-installed and it supports cards up to 64 gigabytes, class 10. This model, which is the highest in its lineup, features the top tier thermal camera resolution available for this instrument. It also includes a macro lens for inspecting PCB boards, delivering impressive image quality and detail. This macro capability is the main reason I purchased this device. Everything else it offers is just a bonus for me. The thermal camera works flawlessly, even outdoors at distances of 50 to 200 meters. Among its 15 modes, I prefer the white heat mode because it provides the most detail for identifying heat sources, including humans. As shown in the video, the level of detail is impressive. See for yourself. Lastly, let's take a look inside the device. The main CPU is laser brushed, so its exact model is unknown. However, there is an additional CPU for the LCD and an ARM Cortex processor responsible for USB communication, the TF card and other functions. In conclusion, while standalone thermal cameras with similar quality cost around $300 to $500, this instrument is priced at just $250. Consider what's more valuable to you, a highly precise multimeter with an excellent high-resolution thermal camera or just a standalone attachable camera for your smartphone. I faced the same dilemma and ultimately chose this instrument. However, note that Mustool does not have an official website, meaning no firmware updates or official support are available. What you buy is what you get, no more, no less. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video.